क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस वीडियो हियर वी आर सपोज टू कंक्लूड आवर चैप्टर ट्रांसफर्ड इलेक्ट्रॉन डिवाइसेस एज वी हैव कवर्ड ऑल द डायोड्स एसोसिएटेड टू दिस पर्टिकुलर फैमिली द नेम सजेस्ट देयर इट इज अ ट्रांसफर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्रॉम वन एनर्जी लेवल टू अनदर एनर्जी लेवल विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द गैलियम आर्सिनाइड मटेरियल indium phosphide material and the cadmium telluride material of n types we have seen the operation where the oscillations are produced so the gun diode we say it is working as oscillator now let us address how exactly the microwave generation is available to see this performance so here we start with our topic microwave generation this topic is very very important as the basic motive either to use the vacuum tubes modified to the form of microwave tubes or the transferred electron devices or the next chapter that we are going to see the avalanche transit time devices is to generate the microwave energy the microwave signal so microwave definition is very well known that is it is electromagnetic wave having a specific frequency range from 1 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz now in the microwave tubes the vacuum tube was the platform along with the velocity modulation principle now here in the semiconductor platform we have as gone through the gun diode especially working on to the three types of the semiconductor materials the compound ones here the principle of operation there it is negative resistivity negative resistance while we apply and increase the applied voltage to the bulk device there it is drop down into the dripped velocity of the electron and drop down into the current density of the device here so the procedure that we have gone through can be better explained with the help of one diagram the diagram we see so here this is the generalized diagram with respect to whatever the diode belonging to the category of the transferred electron devices so in this particular diagram we can separate out the performance into the stable and unstable regions very first of all i just get it introduced to the two parameters on the two axis of this particular graph on the horizontal axis we have taken the applied electric field to the bulk device the bulk device can be shown simply like this having the two terminals cathode and anode and applying electric field across it we can have this performance now this performance right now it is computed in terms of the drift velocity represented as v sub x d mostly measured in terms of centimeter per second here now here as the applied electric field goes on increasing initially the velocity also increases up to this particular point and from this we observe a drop down so this is the marking of threshold electric field so before threshold field whatever we see the behavior that we can say to be a stable region for the family of transferred electron devices and after it has crossed the threshold value there it is drop down into the drift velocity of electron drop down into the current density up to the valley point this particular region we can say that it is unstable region now into the unstable region we have this particular mid point between the peak current and the valley current so here we shall be marking e2 when the middle of this one can be marked as e1 here now as this is the valley point we shall be representing it with the help of e suffix v here so this is valley electric field here this is threshold electric field here 
Now in this diagram, the important region is the unstable region. Because before the threshold field, we say that the diode is stable. There it is no instability there it in. After it has crossed the threshold value, there it is a domain formation in the diode, most possibly to the cathode terminal region. And this particular domain is a traveling from cathode end to the anode end. So here it is cathode and here it is anode here. So now because of this, this domain as far as the energy or the current if it is represented like this in the previous diagrams here, the current pulses go on drifting from cathode to the anode terminals. So this domain is reaching the anode and finally it is absorbed. So before the domain it is formed, the region whatever it is there, it has low potential. Now after the domain, it has more electric potential. So once the domain is reached the anode position, the potential here or the electric field here increases above the threshold and again the diode gets formed. Dipole or the high field domain we can say that gets formed here and again it go on drifting from cathode to the anode position here. So this process goes on repeating and we obtain the pulses of the current produced because of this device operation. Now whatever this pulsed current we obtain as the output here, the frequency of operation with respect to this output current can be denoted by F and it will be nothing but a ratio of VD divided by L effective here. So in this representation, VD actually represents drift velocity of the domain. So approximately the drift velocity of the domain is equal to the drift velocity of the electron. Now L effective is the length, the electric dipole, the high field domain that has formed traveled inside this particular specimen. So generally it is from cathode terminal to the anode terminal. So let this can be the equation number one giving the frequency of oscillation here. Now the observations are that while having 3.05 gigahertz, it is observed that there are 200 watts of pulses obtained at the output. On the another hand, if we have the frequency of 8.7 gigahertz, it has resulted 780 milliwatts of continuous wave output of this particular device. While having such output obtained, the efficiency of the device is nearly approximated to 29% for the first case and 5.2% for the continuous wave case. Now the whole family of the transferred electron devices exhibit few of the limitations. The limitations we can list out as the first limitation is that they exhibit low efficiency at the frequencies above 10 gigahertz. So I mentioned at the frequencies greater than 10 gigahertz here. The next limitation is that they have a small tuning range. Basically the broad range of frequencies must be available for most of the applications. But this is one, the limitation onto the semiconductor platform, which is not seen in the case of microwave tubes. The third one can be given in terms of the large dependence of the oscillating frequency on the temperature values there. And lastly, 
there it is the high amount of noise interfering the performance of the devices the high amount of noise is interfering because onto the semiconductor platform the power handling capacity is less as compared to those of microwave tubes now lastly we can summarize the performance of the diodes that we have gone through for the three types of semiconductor compound materials with respect to the output power generated for microwaves here so here we take the help of the graph here onto the horizontal axis we take frequency as a parameter measured in terms of gigahertz onto the vertical axis we take the continuous wave power and this is measured in terms of watts here here we can have the markings of 0.1 then it is 1 next to that it is 10 onto the vertical axis and here we have the markings of pi u 10 here it will be 50 then we have 100 and then pi u 100 for the frequencies into the gigahertz now here we have used the gun diode that is using the indium phosphide material whereas there it is also the use of gallium arsenide gun diode so the performances are represented by these particular arrows for comparison purpose from the next chapter that we are going to see the avalanche transit time devices the diodes have also been taken for consideration that are working on to the gallium arsenide material and the diode is impact diode impact diode stands for the impact ionization avalanche transit time diode here also there it is the use of another material that has silicon into the use for the impact here here the values that have been represented into the graph indicates the values of the efficiency with respect to the performance of these devices so it is observed that with respect to the noise considerations the transport electron devices using the semiconductor compound materials outweigh the performance of those into the avalanche transit time devices so this was all about the microwave generation associated with the transport electron devices by the next lecture we shall be addressing the last topic in this chapter and the topic is microwave amplification i hope you are getting the microwave engineering details very well for more information like this you can subscribe to ekeda channel thank you